Today we have Melissa in the chair. Melissa is looking for some highlights. The desired result here is not a lot of focus with the highlights at her root area. She's looking for some color to happen through the mid length and ends. She's open to quite a bit of color happening down through here. She's got gorgeous hair. It's long, soft layers. And so we want to create something that's not going to promote a lot of warmth. You can see her hair now. We've got a nice light to medium brown and she's got a lot of warmth as we look through it. We do have color in here that covers gray. She has about four gray hairs and it obviously, as all color does, fades warm. So we're going to use some dimensional balayage to create highlights and lift them in between a gold and a deep yellow stage to bring it above the red and gloss and tone it back down. The ideal will be a softer, lighter caramel. And we are looking to create a heavier amount of highlights on the mid length and ends. I'm going to melt the color up softly toward the root area. I'm not looking to bring highlights any lighter than her eyebrow. So I'm going to create soft direction and melt it. And by what I mean by melting is a soft transition from something to nothing. So I want it to come from a really soft point and work into something bolder on her ends. And she's open to a lot of color on her ends. So I think that'll be great for us to be able to track up on her hairstyle and use the layers as our guide for where we're going to be painting. I am going to take horizontal sections as I track up Melissa's head and I'm going to be taking wider panel sections to paint on. I'm really going to be following the haircut and so what I mean by that is looking at the way the hair drops, falls and moves, how the layers are connected, those are going to be my guide for what I paint. I'm going to be painting a double V section so I'm going to be taking V-shaped sections and then I'm going to paint to the left and to the right of the section and then accommodate all the mid length and ends with a highlight. What that's going to do is allow depth and dimension in the center and it's going to promote some soft highlights on each side traveling up gently and then give us a bolder, brighter highlight on our mid length and ends. I'm going to mix up 30 volume highlight product. I use a basic lightener. It's a powder lightener and I typically take one to two scoops of lightener to two ounces of developer. My goal is always frosting. If the product is too dry, it's almost like you're pushing the product through the hair. It will stop lifting. If the product's too wet, It'll break down and penetrate through. It'll bleed through the section. And a true balayage is when you're painting on the hair shaft and you look at the hair shaft in three sections, the root area, the mid shaft, and on the ends. And for a true balayage, you come off really soft and gradual, almost like angel hair pasta, if we were using pasta as an example, coming across the whole top of the strand like linguine or maybe penne pasta. And then you put the hand, paddle, or your comb, whatever tool you're using, underneath the third third and penetrate product through all sides. So it comes from a soft, bold, and all throughout on the ends effect. 